Facebook. I'm going to do my guilt-free cheesecake with you guys. But I need my measuring. Lost my measuring spoon. Well, if anybody logs in on the replay, please say hello, hello, hello when you log in. Hi, Enid. I am doing the lemon guilt-free cheesecake. And while I let people log in, I'm doing eggs, so hold on. It's gonna prop you up there if you'll stay. I'm doing three, three whole eggs in the mixture of Greek yogurt, which ended up being 525 grams. So if someone wants to type in, whoever wants to be my assistant, the FIA total zero, that was 525 grams in my bowl, because that's all I had. The last time I did this, I did 690. But all I had was 525. Three whole eggs going in the bowl. How is everybody today? Are you guys wanting to learn how to make guilt free cheesecake? Is that why you're here? Because I have a rule that you have to speak to me if you're here. All right, so I just use your basic eggs because I don't raise chickens. So that's why I use basic eggs, because I don't raise chickens. Hi, guilt-free cheesecake. Okay, so in my bowl, if someone will be my assistant, we'll type this in, the Faye Zero Cheesecake. Yes, Faye Zero Total Zero Fat-Free Greek Yogurt. Um, I'm just finding that this one is less runny. And I used 525 grams measured on my scale, because that's all I had in the bucket. So, technically last time I used more, but doesn't matter because this is baking. This is an art, it doesn't have to be exact. Also in here, I have three whole eggs. Also, the last time I did this, I did not do lemon. I don't even know why I'm using lemon. I don't even know if I like lemon, but we're doing lemon. So I have lemon juice because I didn't buy a real lemon and I'm going to put one tablespoon, I'm guessing at this. One tablespoon is going in the batter. Okay, and then 25 grams of your Jello lemon cheesecake mix. So I'm just gonna open up the powder, zero out my scale, and dump in 25 grams. Yep, 25 grams, okay? So, lemon cheesecake is the one I'm using. Again, I've not made this flavor. Also, I'm going to get some stevia. I don't actually use stevia very often, and what I have in here is a one-third cup measuring spoon. As you can see, it's not even full. So, whatever that was, that was five grams, six grams of this bakeable stevia. I don't like to use, um, I don't like to technically use like stevia and truvia and all of that if I can help it, but five grams really, it's not gonna make or break this recipe. Now I have to stir all that together. So, we're gonna stir, stir, stir. Make sure your eggs get all over the batter. Break up those yolks. So, if anybody wanted to top that in, three whole eggs, one tablespoon of lemon juice, 525 grams of plain, non-fat Greek yogurt five or six grams of stevia, or more if you want it sweeter. 
I just try to stay away from those kinds of things. Lemon juice, I said that right, a tablespoon of lemon juice. All right, so even though this has eggs in it, guys, here is a way to make really yummy non-fat Greek yogurt for like a, um, maybe like a fruit dip or something. So let me flip your camera. So there it is. And it actually smells really, really yummy. So if you didn't put the eggs in here, because they are raw, you could literally use this as like a fruit dip. Okay, so as I turn you back around, because I have a tripod, but it just points out, not down. Okay, so I do not have a fancy cheesecake. Um, what are those things called? The, um, the pans? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Form pan? Shoot. I've totally lost my chain of thought. Anyway, a pie pan works just fine. I went and bought this pretty pie pan for like $4. And I sprayed it with spray. And I am going to put this mixture. And again, I didn't have as much Greek yogurt as I wanted. I am going through Greek yogurt so fast these days because of these kinds of recipes and then my Greek yogurt dip and, um, but this cheesecake is a lot of Greek yogurt, which typically I just think is really, really, really nasty, but it is not nasty this way. And it's like an amazing protein, guys. All right, so there it is, pretty much. Scrape it out of the pan. Make sure you get it all. I'm gonna divide this into eight pieces when it's done, and it's gonna be done in 30 minutes. Ooh, that's got a lemony taste. So there you go. 30 minutes in the oven at 350 degrees. Okay, so I got my timer on, so don't forget it, because I'll forget it. And I've got CrossFit in like an hour and a half. So let me flip the other the camera around again. So here's the next thing. In the description, you have breakfast sandwiches. So here's what I did. In a regular casserole dish, I did six full eggs, and I chopped up three slices of Sargento cheese. So regular slice of cheese, three slices of cheese, six eggs, and a little dash of 2% milk. Stir it all up, spray it in a pan, a, a casserole pan, bake it in the oven about 35 minutes, okay? Then I have turkey sausages, and I have these bagels. So if you wanna see me put one of these together, I waited for the eggs to cool. This is a bagel. Now, these are Hunter's breakfasts, and he tends to not eat enough during the day because of work. So, I'm not trying to make these low calories. So, please know that. These are Sam's Choice Everything Bagel with Asiago Cheese. They smell divine. And I don't even like bagels, and I don't even really like a lot of cheese. Um, now, one bagel is... 240 calories. I know that's backward. He doesn't eat enough during the day. But if you want to cut down on the calories, use a light, low fat or light calorie English muffin or a low carb, low calorie um, like a wrap. And you can do the same thing. You shouldn't worry about eating eggs, really. Honestly, guys, eggs are really pretty good for you. So that's a square of egg. Because you bake it in a casserole dish, you can chop it up into nice big solid squares. Then I'm gonna put the turkey sausage, so this is one way that you can be calorie friendly. And then I'm gonna put the bagel back on top. So if you can see how large this is, and look how pretty. So I'm gonna put that in saran wrap. Maybe. Does anybody else hate saran wrap like I do? I need to get some of that press and seal, but I never think about it when I'm at the store. All right, so saran wrap is going around these things. These are huge. 
He is so spoiled by me making his food, I tell you. So I wrap it up really good in saran wrap, and then I double wrap it again in a sandwich bag. Okay, so again, I'm making his breakfast for five days in a row. He doesn't mind the fifth day to eat they, these. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love to play in the kitchen. Usually I just look like a hot mess and I feel really guilty coming on here like literally a hot mess. Like I'm back in my workout clothes because of course I'm going to CrossFit and I've already worked out um, at 5 a.m. and at 8 a.m. this morning. But in between, I'm trying to get some food done. So the cheesecake is completely guilt-free. If you do Weight Watchers, get ready to be mind blown. This is zero points, zero points. You can't eat the whole thing. You can have one or two slices a day for zero points on Weight Watchers. If you are not Weight Watchers, I added up the calories on this once before and it was around 80 calories. This one will be even less because I used less yogurt and less pudding mix. But the breakfast sandwich again, I wasn't trying to make that a light, low calorie breakfast sandwich. Um, but you have ways that you can make it lower calorie. You can eliminate the cheese. You can do the English muffin on a low calorie carb wrap or the low calorie English muffin. And um, the turkey sausage is already the better choice. And I found these frozen patties at Aldi's and they were in the frozen section and I just put them out yesterday so they wouldn't be frozen and he will put them in the microwave. So again, this is the bagel. What did I throw my napkin away for? So this is the bagel, and well, this one is not separated, really? Okay, we'll put him off to the side. I'll separate that one in a minute. So this one is already separated for me. I don't know what's wrong with that one. That was somebody did not do their job at the bakery. The eggs go on next, the sausage goes on next. Put your bagel back together, okay? Saran wrap that baby up, sandwich it up, and again, I'm making breakfast for him for five days, and I gotta wash my hands. All right, I go through so many napkins, it's not even funny. But my cheesecake is gonna be out of the oven in 24 minutes, and I will try to remember to take a picture and post it in these comments. Yeah. I don't mind Hunter's breakfast to being a little bit more hearty, and I'm not, um, I don't have a problem with eating the yolk in your eggs because this ultimately um, boils down to one egg per day. So I used, well, I used six eggs and there's five sandwiches because when I did the English muffins, there were six sandwiches. So I had six in my head, but I did six eggs for five days. So ultimately it's like one egg per day. So I don't stress that. That's not a big deal. Everybody should be eating healthy foods and, you know, cut down on the yolk if you need to. It will cut some calories, but it also cuts a lot of your flavor. The cheese, of course, is optional, but he loves his cheese, but he doesn't want a lot. So again, like in this little piece, you can see the little chunk of cheese there, a little chunk of cheese there, and a little chunk of cheese there. So like in that piece, there's just a little bit of cheese. Now, if he wants to add an extra slice, he can. But that's just a way to be able to prep your food in advance. An easy way to track it if you're tracking food. Because you're literally going to scan in the bagel. You're going to scan in one whole egg. You could scan in, because I used three slices of cheese, you could scan in half a slice of cheese or three-fourths of a slice of cheese. Um, and the turkey sausage, one patty, you can scan that into your trackers. And you can easily account for this kind of breakfast. Do I make healthy casseroles? Um, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of a casserole necessarily. Um, I'm more of a put your food together buffet style kind of person. And yes, Katrina, Katrina yes, you can do anything on flexible dieting as long as it fits. And the cheesecake is zero points on Weight Watchers. Now, I'm not adding this up for Weight Watchers um, because it is not a healthy-ish bagel. So, it's going to be a lot of points, but you wouldn't eat the bagel necessarily. You would find something a little bit 
less calorically dense. But again, Hunter doesn't eat much during the day because he's at work. And then he literally comes home from work, grabs half of a granola bar or a piece of fruit and goes straight to the gym. And then he's at the gym forever. And then he comes home and he eats a huge meal after that. And it just goes to show you that it doesn't matter if you eat a huge meal late in the day. If you still need your calories, you still need your calories. Um, but as far as casseroles go, I mean, I have a breakfast casserole that I've made before. Um, I just personally like to eat buffet style. So I have a bunch of stuff that I put together literally when it's usually time to eat. For me, that's easier to track also because to throw all of this in like a bowl and, and bake it, to me, it's just harder to track. I like to be a little more precise and know that I'm getting exactly this and exactly this and exactly this. Um, yes, reduced calorie bread toasted is two points for two slices if you choose the right bread on Weight Watchers. Yes, it is. So this is a, um, for sure, this one is a 2.2 slice total, two points, Weight Watcher bread, a 45 calorie bread. That is also another way that you could reduce this breakfast is by putting it on two slices of bread, which would be 90 calories versus the bagel being 240 calories. So one way to for sure do that. Um, so again, I'm gonna get off here and I got 20 minutes till my cheesecake is ready. Like I said, I'll take it out and post a picture. The picture's really not all that pretty. I will top it with some fat-free Ready Whip and probably some raspberries or strawberries. And I'll let you know what I think about the lemon flavor. It's the first time I've done lemon, so I'll let you know. It's really odd because I don't really like lemon, but I'm going for it. Thanks for watching. And if you have any value in this video, if anything I did helped you or gave you ideas, please like and share. Even on the replay, like and share and hearts and love across the screen. It just helps my Facebook page and my algorithms, and it allows me to continue to do these kinds of videos for you. So please do that for me if I gave you any value today, or maybe someone else will get value if you share it. So hearts and love across the screen, likes across the screen. I don't care if you do mad faces across the screen because that helps my algorithms too. So if you wanna be mad, be mad, but post it on my page because it helps my page. So. I just think it's funny that you can do mad faces and it still helps me. I don't think anybody's here is mad. If you're mad, you can move on, right? I'm not the biggest fan of lemon, so we'll, I'll let you know. I'll eat a piece tonight when it cools. It needs to be in the fridge for a few hours, so that's why I wanted to make it before CrossFit because by the time I get home and eat it, it will be in the fridge at least four or five hours, and I eat a guilt-free cheesecake late at night and um, zero points, so can't, can't beat it. It's a win-win situation. Bye, guys.